This is a lesson on solid figures, and our objective today is for you to be able to uh, name the various solid figures and also visualize and draw views of three-dimensional objects that are made from rectangular solids. Uh, it sounds like a lot, but really it's just, you know, cubes make up these objects and then can you see them from uh, different angles? And that visualization takes uh, a lot of practice. And so we're, we're going to uh, start today and then um, continue and continue and, and look at some web resources that you can uh, play with to help your visualization. All right. In order to succeed in this lesson, you're going to have to know a couple of things. Number one, you're going to have to know your shapes. Uh, triangle, quadrilateral, pentagon, uh, rectangle, squares, all, all of that. You're going to have to know that. And then number two, know the difference between a prism and a pyramid. And here's a couple of examples. Notice that the pyramid comes to a point, uh, at, you know, from uh, a base shape, all of the lines from each uh, corner here go up to a base shape. And on the prism, you have a base shape on the bottom and ex a matching base shape on the top. So our notes for lesson 10-12, solid figures. How are prisms and pyramids named? And then what are the names of the solids that have some special names? Seems like a lot, but really uh, it, it's kind of minimal. All right, so here's how most solids are named. Most solids are named uh, based on their base or their end shape, right? And really everything, if you name it by the end, if you just turn that, you know, uh, figure upside down or, or stood it up on its end, it would become the base. So what we're looking for is the base here. And this one has a base of a five-sided five figure. And so that base is named a pentagon. Right, it's a pentagon uh, and it comes up to a pyramid, but uh, the way that we turn pentagon, which is a noun into a um, an adjective, is just add al on it. So pentagonal pyramid. All right, so it's named uh, by its base shape. On this one, you name it by its end shape, but really it's a base shape if you just turn it on its end, right? So uh, this is a rectangle on the end, right? But uh, we're not going to be able to add AL on it because it would be rectangle lull. And um, it's kind of hard to say. So instead of rectangle, they say it's a rectangular. Uh, and then this thing is a prism because it has the base shape here and then the corresponding shape uh, on the other side it's exactly the same shape uh, and so they call that a prism so that's a rectangular prism right. and this is these are the solid figures that have special names uh, if you just took a look at this shape right here it has a circle on the bottom and then a circle on the top and so if we were naming it you know, what we named it before, it would be a circular prism. But instead of circular prism, we just say that's a cylinder, All right? And this uh, figure right here is a sphere. It has a, a circle or imaginary circle that goes, uh, cuts through the middle of it. And then uh, we don't call this a circular pyramid. We just call it a cone. And then if all of the sides are exactly the same length, uh, and they form squares on each side, then we call that, or each face of a solid figure, we call that a cube. Right, here's some guided practice now. Uh, so taking a look at the, the screen, uh, number one, we're going to be naming each solid figure and then drawing a picture of what it looks like from the top. And so we have to picture what it looks like if we were looking straight down on that figure. All right, first of all, uh, taking a look at this figure, we see that on the ends there are rectangles. Look, that's kind of a weird deal there. Go slower. 
rectangles on the end. Uh, and it's, you know, got two of the same shapes on both ends and these parallel lines running from the corners. And so this is a definitely a rectangular, rectangular prism. All right, number two has uh, circles on the top and the bottom and then parallel lines running up the sides. And <clears throat> instead of calling it a circular prism, we call that a cylinder. All right, and then number three has pentagon here, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to try to use a different color here. Pentagon on that back side, so it has two pentagons that are that are, that are the same size, and so we call that a pentagonal prism. All right. The other thing that we have to do today is to be able to name the solid figure that is made by a pattern, okay. and so. Here we have a pattern here that's also called a net, but uh, I'm just going to call them patterns now. What shape, if you folded it up all, uh, folded it all up and then connected all these parts, what shape would it make? Well, this one takes a lot of practice, but on this you see you have two uh, triangles on the ends here and then a bunch of parallel lines. And if we have two triangles on the end and a bunch of parallel lines, it forms a prism. Um, and then what is, what is the base shape that forms a prism? It's a triangle. So this is a triangular prism. All right, and if I can kind of draw it, if I took this shape and that shape and kind of folded them up, you would see that would kind of look like this. All right. And then folded it up a little bit more, but then also folded each end up. Uh, you would have something that kind of looked like this. And then furthermore, uh, folded them up again, you'd, you'd have A prism. Okay, so that's how it goes. You just kind of have to visualize these things. The more you play with them, uh, the better off you, you get here. All right, so number five, you have two circles on the ends and then these parallel lines running, uh, you know, from one circle to the other. And this one would make a cylinder. All right, if I folded these things toward each other and then roll this middle, you would see that, you know, this thing would kind of roll up a little bit here. Circle on each end. It's a bad circle. All right, and if I kept on bringing these ends together, eventually I would have a cylinder. All right, and then the last thing is I have six cubes, which means six faces of my shape. And if I have six faces and they're all squares, that would be a cube. So I see a bunch of cubes, and a bunch of cubes always form a cube. All right, no triangles on here, no circles, it's just a bunch of cubes. And that would form a cube, especially six of them. All right, moving on to the last part of our assignment, and that would be uh, taking a look at these shapes that are formed or these solid figures that are formed by a bunch of cubes uh, you know attached to one another and then you have a front view a right view and a top view and if you just took a look at the front view that would mean you were kind of taking a look at in that direction you know from the front and what would you see if you were looking from the front well I would see this shape here work with me now pen okay and I would see this shape there and then 
that shape there. And so what would it look like if I was looking at that? I'd see uh, two stacked on the right and one on the left, and I wouldn't see this shape at all because it would be hidden behind those two shapes. And so I would say, I would see one cube on the right, that's this one. And above that, I would have a cube, and then that's that one. And then to the left of my original cube, I'd see this cube face. All right, so if I was looking straight at it from the front, I would see the top one up here, and then I'd see that one below it, and then one to the left. And I wouldn't see that shape at all because it would be behind this block right here. So this would be the front view. And then what would I see if I was looking at it from the right? All right, let's get the highlighter back out. And then from the right, I would see this cube. I would see this cube here. And I would see this cube. Uh, and so looking at it from the right, I would see uh, one cube here with another one on top of it, and this would be on the left, and then on the right I would see that one there. So I would see two on the left, and then one on the right, and this would be the, the right cube. And then from the top I would see these um, blue shapes, or these light blue shapes, uh, coming from the top, and I'd have to picture what it looked like if I was just looking straight down on the top of it well I would see this cube here and that cube there and that one back there but I wouldn't see this bottom one at all because it would be blocked by this cube here so if I was looking from the top I would see this cube with one underneath it and then above that or you know next to that I would see a cube off to that side and then one cube off to the other side because this one would be off to the right and so this would be by top view all right so that's number seven front right and top uh, number eight becomes a little bit more difficult looking at it from uh, the top and the front i think the right side is going to be pretty easy on this one so let's take a look at the front view here uh, you have one two three, four cubes that are along the bottom. So if I could draw those first. One, two, three, four. All right, those are the first four cubes along the bottom. And then above that, not above all of them, but just above the two on the right, I would see one and two. All right, so I would... I would see something like that from the front. Now, from the right side, it'd be a little bit different, right? Because I wouldn't see any of these cubes back here. All these three plus that one. If I was looking at it from the from the right, I would only see these four cubes that are facing the right, right? And they look like they form kind of a square here. So there's two and and two. So I would see something like that from the right. Now, from the top, I might see something a little bit different, right? So I would see one, two, three, four, five cubes from the top. And this cube and that cube, that cube and that cube all form kind of a straight line. They're all in line. Uh, and so I would see on the left side of my shape four cubes. That's that, that, that top, and that top. And then, so that's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then just to the right of that one that's on the bottom corner would be another one on the right. So that one would be the top view and again these things take practice right you have to look at them and here's our web resource right here you could take a pause right now and go to this one just search for space blocks and you can put together 
some shapes that look like this and then rotate them with your mouse and then you can look at them from all the different views and it should help you a little bit as you are trying to visualize these 3D objects that are built uh, by a bunch of cubes. All right, so what are we doing for our work today? We're doing uh, work out of the homework H10-12 and we're going to be doing number one through eight only. All right, don't move on to nine and ten, just do one through eight only. Good luck.